Hello my fit and sane friends! Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't tuned in in this very very crazy time so it's about to change right now. So guys, uh, same as you, I've been quarantined now for two weeks I think. So uh, all gyms have been closed. I have not had a possibility to train in the gym for the past two weeks. I'm going nuts, guys. But that does not stop me from working out. So all past two week trainings and workouts have been done at home, which is really a challenge, isn't it? So I feel like you really gotta be creative. I'm very fortunate and lucky that I do have some weights available at home as well. But I know there are many people who do not have a set of dumbbells or maybe a barbell or bands available. So this video, guys, is going to be for you. We are going to be doing a booty and core session today. And this workout is going to be one of the workouts, a little sneak peek into my upcoming challenge that we are kicking off already on Monday. Yes, guys, this Monday, so 30th of March. Um, so I've put together a little 14 day mini challenge, which the whole idea and a whole goal of it is to really stay active throughout this quarantine time and to really sort of keep each other accountable of being active because this is really the time when we do need each other to sort of go through it. I need you guys, you need each other as well. So I thought it would be a great idea to do this challenge all together. 14 days, that's all. So today we are going to be doing a booty and core session from the challenge. This workout is going to be absolutely body weight, but I will also give you some tips of how to add a resistance and a load if you do want to use some extra weights when you do workout. Okay guys, let's do this. I am already a bit warmed up, uh, so we're gonna go straight to the workout. So the first exercise we're going to be doing today is a combination exercise. So we're going to combine a reverse lunge with a single leg stiff deadlift. Um, we're going to start with an option that is body weight and I'm going to show you afterwards how to increase that load when you're training at home. Remember the key is to keep your hips forward so nice and aligned and make sure you're not swinging to that one side when you're stepping back or when you're reaching down towards the ground. Okay guys, so we're doing 15 repetitions per each leg here. So one lunge into an SDL is going to be one repetition. It's going to really challenge your balance though, you're gonna feel that. But let's go into a weighted option of this exercise, shall we? So here we go. As we're training at home today, I am assuming that you might not have a dumbbell set available. <laughs> so this is what we're going to be using. You will need your handbag. I'm going to be using one kilo rice bag, a pasta sauce, and a kilo of almonds. So basically the idea is that you can load up your purse or your gym bag or whatever kind of bag you have with whatever you can find at home. It's going to add you an extra load so you can always find something handy. If you do have a dumbbell available, you can absolutely perform this with a dumbbell. we're doing today is going to be a core exercise so uh, pike diagonals so 
So both of these exercises we will perform for four sets before switching to the next ones. Okay, this next round, this is a tri-set of three exercises and this is going to be a total glute burner. We will be uh, combining different variations of a hip thrust. So stay with me. Let's go. So the first variation is a body weight hip thrust. You can use your bed, your couch, a chair, something to support your upper back. So I'm going to place my shoulder blades on the top of the couch. And from there I'm going to be doing 30 repetitions of a hip thrust. After 30 reps, we are switching to a single leg hip thrust. So, a same thing, we will be just working one leg at a time. You can either lift, lift your foot, keep it elevated up here, or you can just cross over. This is the most comfortable position I find it. So, we are going to do 15 to 20 reps here per each leg. And the last one we are going to double leg, but this time we are going to add a pulse at the top. So this is going to be your double pulse hip thrust, same setup. But when we are reaching a top position, you can add a small pulse. So pew, that's going to be one rep. So one, pulse, two, pulse, three, we are completing 20 repetitions. Remember, one rep with one pulse equals one rep. Guys, this is going to burn. Either you use the weight or you don't. Either ways, if you do have maybe a booty band available, feel free to use that uh, around your knees or you can add an extra load. So pick up your little purse, place it up on the hips. Let's go. When we are doing a hip thrust, I always like to say, imagine that you have a tail and you want to tuck that tail in between your legs. So it's going to really help you to activate that pelvic motion to really execute that hip thrust without putting so much effort on your erector muscles or your back. Anyhow, we will be performing this tricep for four rounds and then we're switching to the next one. Okay guys, so this is our core set. Uh, so we're going to start with a plank diagonal. So you're going to start in a plank position. You're going to take a step out, hands under the shoulder. You can open your feet a little bit wider here because when they're rising up, you're going to lift your leg and your opposite arm into diagonals. We're doing 20 repetitions of diagonals and right afterwards switching to quadruped abductions. So downwards facing abductions, you're gonna lift your leg and from there you're going to keep that glute squeeze. You're gonna shift your leg out and in. So we will be doing 15 repetitions to each leg. What I really want you to focus on here is that core stability. Because if you look from the front, you really want to avoid that flexion. You don't want to be doing this when you are going out. So stay grounded, hips towards the ground, and you shift your leg out and back in. So try to really feel those obliques engaged, your glutes engaged. We're going to perform 15 repetitions each leg. And we're going to be doing this with a set for three rounds. And then we're done. So a super fast and a quick body weight workout. Remember guys, just because you do not have a gym available does not mean you have 
to absolutely change your goals that you have to throw everything just away and freaking give up. It's not an obstacle and you should not see it as one. It's just a great opportunity to be a little bit more creative and to grow. So let's use this time to grow. And guys, if you feel like you, you are lacking that motivation to train at home, you can still join our 14-day mini challenge that is kicking up already Monday. So within this challenge, what we're going to do, you will receive a training program that you will get an access to in our coaching app that we usually use for our client programs. Uh, so you will have an access to this app and a program for 14 days. Within these 14 days, if you do want to keep the program and use it for a longer time, you're absolutely welcome to download it and save it on your desktop. Um, otherwise, we will be using it all together uh, for 14 days and within these two week period of time, we will also be doing three live workout sessions. So we will be training together. It's an option. You can join in or you can do it on your own time. So this is a great opportunity to sort of kick each other's ass. We will have a nice Facebook community that you will have an access to so we can really stay in touch with each other during this time. And I believe it's gonna be fucking fun. So if you're ready to join in, uh, just send me your email address and we're gonna arrange your sign up because we don't have much time left. Let's do this, guys.